Throughout our study through the book of Jude, we have been dealing a lot with false teachers, their nature, their doctrine, and ultimately God's judgment of them. Now, as we approach the end of this book, I want to touch on tips on how Christians can persevere in light of the presence of false teachers. Because ultimately, as Christians, the true Christian is marked by perseverance. And I'm going to share a few, a, a couple of ways in which we are to persevere. So in today's text, we're going to be reading from Jude verse 17, going down all the way to 23. This is what the word of the Lord says. But you must remember, beloved, the predictions of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. They said to you, in the last time, there will be scoffers following their own ungodly passions. It is these who cause the visions of worldly people, the void of the Spirit. But you, beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life, and have mercy on those who doubt. Save others and snatching them out of the fire. To others, show mercy with fear, hitting even the garments stained by the flesh. So in these, so in the first, two ver- uh, first couple of verses, uh, verses 17 through 19, it talks about just the predictions of the apostles concerning false teachers, whom they are described as scoffers, those following their own ungodly passions. And not only that, they cause divisions, particularly divisions in the church. They are worldly people, and they are devoid of the Spirit. And And that last few words there are very important to know, because even though they may p- profess to be Christian, ministers they may profess to have a a ministry but ultimately they are devoid of the spirit which goes to show that they are not truly saved they it, it is all for show they operate in accordance to the flesh they they may know christian terms here and there theological terms right they may have some understanding of the bible but ultimately these people are lost they are lost and this is what the apostles warned us about in the scriptures and overall with the whole canon of scripture the old testament new testament we can see that false teachers are are everywhere and their presence is inevitable even though there's been deception in the church christians are called to persevere we are called to persevere we're called to stand for to stand firm to, to remain grounded and ultimately to look unto the lord because we, because that's how we stay grounded against the fall the false teachers I'm going down to verses 20 and uh, verse 20 and verse 21. But you, beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. And here we see it. We, we basically see the whole Trinity at play here. And it just goes to show how Christians were to live uh, in light of the Trinity. We have a relationship with the Trinity, right? The Bible clearly stresses the importance of the trinity that each of them has their role to play and in this case we are we have here praying in the holy spirit which means praying in accordance to the the holy spirit and then keeping yourselves in the love of god right because as christians we know that we are children of god we are loved by god and the greatest example of god's love that was ever shown to us is through jesus christ our Lord and our Savior, and know that God's love is unconditional. And then we have going down here to waiting on the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, that could talk about salvation. That could also just talk about just waiting for 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 his 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 return. And and because he's returning, we can look forward to that. We can persevere even now amidst false teachers, amidst the deception the heresy because we recognize that christ is coming back he's going to judge those false teachers and ultimately he's going to bring his church to himself and we will be with him forevermore and to backtrack a little bit to the beginning of verse 20 it says here but you beloved building yourselves in your most holy faith and as the church we are to continually grow in our faith we are to build ourselves up whether it's attending church being with the body of Christ or in our own walks with the Lord because because we, we, we have to because otherwise, guess what? We, we become cold we, and ultimately we can become vulnerable to false false teachers. 
And then in the last two verses, we go from building, building ourselves up to encouraging others, particularly those who may have been deceived or perhaps they themselves are the deceivers, hence fall, has such as the false teachers. Verse 22, and have mercy on those who doubt. Save others by snatching them out of the fire to others show mercy with fear, even hating, hating even the garment stained by the flesh. So first and foremost, we are to have mercy on those who doubt. Doubt what? Doubt God's word. Doubt the gospel. Doubt biblical truth because they've been deceived. And rather than hating on them, we are to show mercy towards them. We are to pray. We are to love on them and encourage them in the truth and and that's what we see in verse 23. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. We are to ultimately do our job and try to minister to them and, and do and do what we can to, to pull them out of the fire and ultimately reach them before it is too late for them and they ultimately perish. And then to others show mercy with fear, hating even a garment stained by the flesh. And what does that mean here? That means that we are to minister to them in such a way that we do not become influenced by whatever they, it is influencing them, whether it's false teaching, whether, whether it's worldly ideologies, anything that will pull us away from God, we are to disregard that and, and we are to do it in a way where we are trying to reach that person for, for, for Christ, for Christ. And as a church, that's, that's what we are to do in, in the context of perseverance, you know, whether it's building ourselves up in the faith, right, in our relationship to the Lord, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and then to and then reaching out to those who who are lost, right? Whether whether it's those in the world or even those in the church who have been deceived by false doctrine, as as believers, like I said at the beginning of this episode, a true Christian is marked by perseverance. And Jesus says, "Those who per persevere to the end will be saved," because it goes to show who truly is saved, who truly does belong to Christ. Because if we were to all fall away, it just goes to show that. We were never truly saved to begin with. God's work was never present in us because we know that it is God who who leads us to, to the end. He, he helps us persevere to the end. On our own strength, we can never do it. I mean, look, we could even save ourselves. We could even come to Christ on our own because of our own sin and condemnation that warranted hell. But instead, Christ took our place and he died for us on the cross. And now that we are in him, now we persevere in light of his grace, in light of his mercy, in light of his, his word, the gospel, the promise of eternal life, and just the, the future hope and glory that we have in Christ, we have more than enough reason to go forward. So as I close this episode, just remember that even though there may be false teachers everywhere today, be not disheartened and do not give up, but rather continue to press forward. Thank you for listening to the For Your Soul Podcast. For more information, you can follow me on my social media as well as my YouTube channel where I upload every clip and episode of the podcast. And if you would like to contribute, you can do so at anchor.fm slash for your soul slash support. And please give a five-star review on wherever you get your podcast, such as Apple and Spotify. That really helps me out. Once again, this is the For Your Soul Podcast, a podcast for your soul.